Hi, this is Anton from the Terra team. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find ready-to-run workflows or publish and import your own workflow scripts to use within Terra. Let's start with the simplest way to find ready-to-run workflows. From the menu button, visit the Showcase and Tutorials section of the library. From here, we will be able to clone workspaces that contain pre-configured workflows that we want to use. In this section, you can find workflows tailored to a variety of uses, as well as tutorial workspaces to teach you how to use relevant workflows. For example, this workspace, Variant Functional Annotation with Funkotator, is dedicated to guiding users with the popular Funkotator tool. Funkotator is highly configurable, and this workspace is just one small example of how it can be run. The dashboard contains links to a wealth of information about how to reconfigure it, but you can run it as is by cloning this workspace uploading a variant VCF you wish to annotate, and using the provided workflow with your VCF as the input. By the way, if you click on this workflow, you'll notice that it comes with a pre-configured set of input and output attributes. This list of attributes is referred to as the workflow configuration, and there are multiple ways to create and save different configurations for streamlining your work. One simple way to save a configuration is to find a pre-configured public workflow like this one and download the JSON file. I'm going to download this one to use later in this video. When you want to use a configuration that you've saved as a JSON in the future, simply upload the JSON using this button in the workflow you're configuring. When you're in a workspace to which you have owner or writer access, you can also import additional workflows by clicking on the Find a Workflow button under the Workflows tab. This will bring up a window with a set of suggested workflows that are ready to run from within Terra. Click on the Doc Store link to open this web page, from which you can search for a variety of tools using the text search and or the list of filters on the left. Once you find a workflow you would like to import to your workspace, clicking on that workflow's name will take you to this page, where you can find a button for importing the workflow to Terra on the right-hand side. When you click this button, a new tab will open with the Import Workflow screen in Terra. Simply type in the name of the workspace where you'd like this workflow to show up and click Import. You can also click Create New Workspace to make a blank workspace containing only this workflow. In addition to the offerings to be found on the Doc Store, you can also upload and publish your own workflow description language, also known as Whittle script, files to our repository. To do this, begin by clicking Find a Workflow in the Workflows tab and then clicking the Broad Repository link at the bottom right of the pop-up. Once you're logged into the repository, you can upload your own Whittle file by clicking Create New Method on the right. Clicking this button will call a pop-up that gives you the option to either upload a Whittle file from your computer or type out or copy-paste the Whittle code directly in the Whittle field. I'm going to copy over the Whittle script from the workflow that was already in the featured workspace. Now click Upload. Once you've uploaded the Whittle to the repository, click on its name to see this view. From here, you can export this workflow to your Terra workspaces. Note that if you wish for this workflow to be available to other individuals, groups, or to the public, you would modify the permissions on this page now by clicking Permissions to see this pop-up. Before exporting to your desired workspace, you will see this window prompting you to choose a configuration. As you saw earlier, the configuration refers to the input and output fields 
specified by a JSON file. Right now, we will select the option to use a blank configuration, and in the next screens, we'll see which fields this leaves blank. After clicking Use Blank Configuration, or selecting a configuration if available, you will be prompted to choose the destination workspace. Make sure to type in the correct name of the target workspace precisely. Congratulations, you've uploaded your own workflow to your cloned workspace. You can find it under the Workflows tab. If you click on the card for your new workflow, you can see the configuration of the inputs and outputs in the lower part of the screen. Note that the fields are all blank because we selected Use Blank Configuration. You can now fill the fields in manually, or you could upload a JSON file, if you have an appropriate one. If I upload the JSON file I downloaded earlier, you'll see the fields are filled in, and your workflow is now fully configured. Thanks for watching.